friends, it's me. And today I am really excited to do this video because it's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And people always ask me this. They're like, what do you eat in a day? And I'm like, oh, I want to do this video. But it's like, then I have to be recording like the whole day, which is something I don't really like doing. Because it's like, when I wake up, I want to just do my work, eat my breakfast in peace, relax. I don't want to have a camera in front of my face until I've had my caffeine. So today, I finally did it. Clap, clap, clap. The perfect timing of this video is that I have been cooking a lot lately. For a while, I've been going out for almost every single meal. I would usually still cook breakfast, but now I'm in the 90% cooking mode. And it's been really nice. I like my food, I like cooking for myself, and it's just so much easier than going out and getting food. So for breakfast, I sauteed some mushrooms that I had in the fridge. I was like, I need to make these. I wish I had some tomatoes with them, but you know what? I just put some spinach in. I'm like, okay, this will do. I love how you put like 20 leaves in and then come out with one shriveled up leaf. Gotta have my toast in the morning. Usually I get multigrain bread, but this is a gluten-free honey white bread. It tastes so much better in my opinion, so I'ma just pop that bad boy in the toaster while I saute my mushrooms and spinach. And when I cook, I'll use like a little bit of cooking oil. I don't like to go crazy with butter or oil, like just a spray, that's fine, as long as it doesn't stick to the pan, we Gucci. Yeah, girl, however, loves her salt and pepper. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna cut up some strawberries, cause you know, I have some fresh strawberries in the fridge. And by the way, this isn't what I eat every day, this is just like what I'm eating today, specifically today. I always change up what I eat, especially for breakfast. It just depends on what I have in the fridge. Like if I have turkey, turkey slices, I'll usually make like a turkey sandwich. Sometimes I'll add an egg, sometimes I'll add turkey bacon, your girl loves her turkey bacon. So it's just like, this is what I'm having today. I crack my egg. I like sunny side up eggs over medium or over hardish medium. I don't, I don't even know what to call it. I don't like it when it's runny. I don't like it when the top isn't cooked. I like my egg like fully cooked. Otherwise I will gag because I hate that. I hate the consistency, the texture of our uncooked egg. Disgusting. So there we have it. Simple breakfast, toast, cheese, egg, mushrooms on the side, strawberries for dessert. It's pretty good. You know, I'm the type of person that if I'm eating healthy, I'm eating good, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I feel like I enjoy the food more if it's healthy. If I'm having something that's super unhealthy, and I know that it's super unhealthy, it's like I'm not gonna enjoy it as much. That needs to be like a, a medium, you know? I've just been trying to overall get healthier. I'm trying to maintain my weight right now, maybe lose like a pound or two, just to kind of get back to where I was. And my best friend literally keeps track of every single meal she eats, every single thing she eats. She was like, that really helps, you really should do this. And I was like, okay. So today I partnered up with a life some app and I've been using this for the past week and I really like it because it's like what did I eat two nights ago for dinner? I don't know but now I know. There's so much you can do on this app but like a food diary is a big part of why I use it just to keep track of what I'm eating and to just live a healthier life. So I love how this tracks like everything. So you can search for what food you ate. So if you had a, a Big Mac for breakfast it says the calories and all the nutrition information all you have to do is like add. I thought this was going to be time consuming but it makes it so easy to keep track of everything. It'll tell you how many calories you've eaten how many you have left, how many you've burned, if you input your exercise, and it really helps you with your goals. So it's like, it reminds me, it's like, did you do your 30 minutes of exercise today? I'm like, yeah, I actually did. And I'll put like a smiley face, mad face, sad face, depending on how healthy the thing you ate was. Also, I love how there's recipes on this app, and it'll just like give me ideas, and I'll be like, hey, I wanna cook that next. Lifesum is free to download, but I'm using the premium version, which has additional features. So if you're looking for something like this, I highly recommend this app. You can download it, you get a 30% discount on a 12 month subscription using the link in the description below. So check it out. Whoa, I didn't eat anything for lunch. Or, you know, I wake up really late and I eat my breakfast at like 3 p.m. Because first I wake up and then I do all my video stuff and it's not until like 3 or 4 that like my day actually starts. And then I'll go run errands and today I didn't really have time to eat more than like a little snack. By the way, if you didn't know already, I am gluten-free. Everything in this video is gluten-free. I only eat gluten-free and have been for almost like 15 years now. Before it was cool. I mean, before people made fun of it. Not, but I have celiac so I actually I have to do that. So today was really, really busy. So I only had a coffee. I ordered a coffee from Starbucks. That's because this freaking coffee done spilled all over me. Oh, we fancy today. We're in Fendi. I got this on sale. It's very itchy. Would not recommend, honestly. It's made of wool. And you would be like, oh, a wool hoodie? That sounds like hella warm. No, it's just itchy and not soft. Okay, so I spilled this. Oh my God. This is just spilling everywhere. So they messed up my order. They did it hot first. They gave me the devil's hot piss and then I was like nah ask for ice I'm like come on man it's summer who still orders hot I only really like 
iced coffee anyway. I mean, sometimes I'll drink warm if I'm like freezing, but this is what I got. I got a tall almond milk latte with two extra shots. Yeah, girl really needs it today. I really needed the two extra shots. I usually don't get coffee unless like I absolutely need it. Every day I will go out and get a drink. Like that's just my thing every single day. That's like my me time, my happy place. Just something that makes me very happy is just going out every day and getting a drink, whether it's boba, matcha, a dessert drink, coffee. This right here is for energy because I have a lot of stuff to do today. But yeah, I got one pump of toffee nut in it. So again, I got a tall almond milk latte, two extra shots, and one pump of toffee nut. I mean, it tastes all right. I wish there was more ice in it. I wish there was more almond milk in it because look at the color. But this is very low calorie for a Starbucks drink. This is around like 100 to 150 calories. And I got a venti water, you know, gotta stay hydrated. I'm still chittery from that coffee. Ooh, I think it's because I'm like hungry too. So I had these pretzels and I had like those chips, cheese crisps thing. I don't know. They're like healthy chips. These are hella healthy snack. It doesn't get healthier than that. I'm gonna be having butternut squash pretzels, which sounds gross, but they taste exactly like regular pretzels. Except you get like a vegetable aftertaste and like they're super low calories. So you can eat a lot and it's only like 100 calories. And these things, cauliflower stock. I've been loving all these like veggie pretzels, chips, crackers. They're just so good to snack on they're so low calorie so you can eat a bunch and like not feel bad about it did i mention they're made of veggies then i didn't eat but i got a nice thick dinner coming at ya mommy mommy has toys for you we just went to the pet store hey where the pets go oh and i got her this little th oh it's so nice ash has a little chewing problem hey you don't want to bite this I think it's too big for her. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got because I did a little bit of, what is this, leaking again? Let me just put it out of his misery. So I did a little bit of food shopping. I got some salmon, these are from Whole Foods. It's just like six fillets of salmon. Cause you know, we healthy now. I got this little plant. Hello, say hello to the little plant friend. Very cute, it's very spiky. It feels like a, like a crystal kind of. It's going in my bathroom. I got turkey bacon, paleo. Well, no sh you know, that's what paleo is. This one is 40 calories for one slice. I got some rosemary. I just got it like loose cause I have a spice rack now and I'm just gonna put it like in the, in the actual jar. And I got some thyme because today I am making, I'll show you guys these later, but these are the most beautiful, biggest freaking lamb chops I've ever seen in my life. And if you guys know me, lamb chops are my favorite, my absolute favorite. And I make the best lamb chops you will ever have. So I put rosemary, garlic, and thyme on them and a lot of salt and pepper. And they're gonna be bomb AF. So I really can't wait for dinner. This is something new. This is like a whole brand that I'm super excited about. So I just saw a bunch of these. They have like stuffed freaking pasta shells that are gluten-free. They had a lasagna. They had a bunch of other stuff. They're kind of high calorie. Like this is almost 500 calories for like this little snack. I was expecting it to look good, but I mean, it's pasta stuffed with cheese. I don't care how it looks, it's gonna be good. And yeah, I just got the dogs like a bunch of toys. This was interesting. So Ash has been like chewing up the baseboards. So I got her this, which is a uh, naturally shed antlers. So it is like a real antler. It's like similar to wood. Like it feels like it. So I feel like she would really like this just because she's been chewing like all the baseboards in the house. Look at this, like I had to tape over what she's done. She's slowly destroying the house. House. This one's not as bad, but like the other ones are so much worse. Bruh, less than five minutes. They already ripped one of the things off. That's not a very good chew toy. If these babies can rip it. They're all fighting over the antler stick. Fluffy, this is not for you. You're not even teething. <laughs> they all want it. She's like, I'm not putting it down. I'm not putting it down. You guys can't have it. There's hella echo in here, okay? We're just gonna have to deal with this. So I got all cute for you guys. I'm gonna be making dinner. This is my absolute favorite dinner that I've been making lately. It's super easy. I know when people say super easy, it really is super easy. I'm gonna be making my absolute favorite rosemary thyme lamb chops. And if you know me, I freaking love lamb chops. My absolute favorite. And we're gonna be doing roasted Brussels sprouts and a baked sweet potato with it. So here we go. I'm gonna rip this up. Oh, we gotta get a close up of this. Look at these. Oh my god, beautiful. They just cut these for me at Whole Foods. And these are so cheap too. Usually I get like four mini ones for like $9 from Sprouts. I don't know, I'm showing you guys like each one individually. Like, mm, look at that. Yes, quality, just grand. I'm gonna lay all my boys out here. So I only touch the meat with my gloved hand. I don't like like meat juice and smell going up my nails, okay? So 
so I wish I didn't touch it because I kind of need two hands to scoop out stuff. So we're just gonna scoop out some garlic. I get like the pre-cut kind. Do a couple lumps. You can't really go wrong with garlic, so you can add as much as you want, add as little as you want. I like a lot of garlic. And of course, salt. We're gonna salt them up with sea salt like really well. I like them hella salty. I kind of did a lot of salt. <laughs> Way more. Went a little too crazy there, so we're gonna just distribute what I already did. And make sure you get like the bones and the sticks. Ooh, this part, that part right there, that is the good stuff. Finger licking good. Make sure you like salt up all the nooks and crannies because you're gonna be sucking on that later. Next up, we're gonna do rosemary. Again, can't really go wrong with rosemary. I'm just gonna put a lot on. I never made these and was like, oh damn, that's too much rosemary. No such thing. I love me some rosemary. Next up, we're gonna be putting thyme. That's how I do this with one hand. Say okay, thumb, I need you. I'm just gonna like sprinkle it on. I don't like it too tiny. We got all the time in the world. Not really, we only got this baggie. Pepper. I like the ground kind. Now I know some people like to put like olive oil, butter, whatever with their lamb chops. No, not me. These bad boys already have enough calories, enough fat on them. You see all this fatty part? Like that's all gonna melt. I'll use a little bit of like nonstick, just, just in case. I don't like to use a lot. There we go. We sprayed it a little bit. So we're just gonna rub everything in real good. I'm preheating my oven right now. I usually do it like around 400, 425. I'm so hungry right now. I just did a workout video. You guys should totally check out. These are gonna be bomb. So good I can smack somebody with it. We're gonna lay these boys down. Would you look at that? Wow. Next up, simple and easy. I'm just gonna take the sweet potato. I'm gonna microwave it for like two minutes. I lied, I put it in for three. So I freaking love a Brussels sprout. They're not for everybody. I grew up eating them, so I like them. I'm just gonna cut them in half. Now you can roast them on the same pan as the lamb chops. I guess I like them crispy. I also like them steamed. So if you already have the oven going or you're just lazy and just want to steam it just like put it in aluminum foil I like to salt and pepper them when they come out I don't like my veggies like doused in oil I don't like them doused in anything it's just wasted calories that I rather waste on I don't know ice cream so we're gonna put these all in the oven so this is a convection oven but I I honestly use this more than I do the real oven it's a very powerful convection oven I'm just gonna put those oh wait do I have room for the potato I do not Actually, I do. So I'm gonna put the potato, hopefully it fits like right here. She a thick potato. And then the Brussels sprouts. Ah, put them right there, why not? That works. And I guess we're just gonna, I don't know, I never time my food. I usually like to just keep like the light on and then just like keep an eye on it. I'll leave this in for like 20 minutes and then I'll like check back, see if it's done, if it's crispy, if I need to like flip them. But yes, how I make my food. I hope my skin looks good. I looked in the mirror, I was like, your girl doesn't need foundation today. I just put concealer under my eyes, I was like, this works. Okay, so these lamb chops are almost done. You see all that oil, that's all the fat. I'm gonna drain that, cause ain't nobody wanna drink that. Here is the finished product. I ate some of the Brussels sprouts while I was waiting, but yeah. These are the lamb chops. I put some brown sugar and a tiny bit of butter on my sweet potatoes. And that's what you got. Bone apple teeth. I don't have a tripod. Mm. By the way, I like them burnt like this. Also, we eat with our hands. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Damn, I really went in. They're just sticks now. Nothing but sticks and bones. Okay, I wasn't gonna show dessert, but like I want dessert, so I'm gonna be making a good old ice cream cone. And what I like to do is take a cone, melt some chocolate chips in the microwave, and then we're gonna put them in the cone. So these two flavors are amazing, and they're vegan and gluten-free. Peachy maple pecan and cookie dough made with coconut milk. Delicious. And there you have it. Not the prettiest cone, but the most delicious. Mm-mm-mm. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to download LifeSum, the link is in the description below. Make sure you check that out. And make sure you hit that like button in the face. Comment below and let me know something healthy you ate today. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.